This Megazord has seen better days. It is pretty filthy. But it doesn't have to look this bad. Let's make it shiny. I'm taking my dollar store makeup brush and brushing some of the dust away. Then spraying with my plastic cleaner. Take my cloth. Look at how much better it looks already. Before, after. The camera doesn't want to focus, but you can kind of see. I know sometimes people get lucky, but generally, if you're looking for a brand new 93 Megazord or Daijuchin from Japan, it's gonna cost you. But maybe you have one or can find one that needs a little bit of work and you can make it look like new. I sprayed a Q-tip with Goo Gone, and I'm just gonna keep rubbing until the marks come off. Right now I'm demonstrating how nice you can make your Megazord look without actually submerging it in the sink and giving it a bath, which is what I like to do, but I know that makes some people nervous, especially when it has stickers. This already looks a lot better than it did. But personally, I do like going to the sink and using usually a toothbrush and liquid soap. Uh, I'm using a paintbrush here because I don't know where my bad toothbrush went. I'm generally not that concerned about the stickers, and especially if it's something where the stickers are already kind of beat up, it doesn't really matter. But I'm not leaving it submerged in water, and I dry it immediately with a towel and a hair dryer. Honestly, these stickers are pretty tough and hard to remove. So getting them wet for, you know, a few seconds, it's not really gonna ruin them. You can see I'm running this directly underwater and I didn't ruin any stickers. But of course, if it's something you really care about and this makes you nervous, don't do it this way. Most people would probably say good enough after this step, but I am gonna use the plastic cleaner after this. I want that showroom finish. All right, now that he's had his bath, I'm gonna do some shining. First, I'm using the scratch remover. Mine doesn't want to squeeze out of the top anymore, so I'm using a paintbrush to just kind of paint the stuff on. And then once I do that, I take my soft cloth and I wipe it away. Direct links to the stuff I'm using will be in the video description right below the video. After the scratch remover, I use the liquid plastic cleaner. It's a cleaner and a polish. Use the soft cloth and make it shiny. And I did this for all of the Zords. And at some point, I wiped the paintbrush across my face. Good job, Bruno. That's quite a difference. You can see the arms are still wet. I, I wasn't quite done, but anyway, you can see the difference. It's so much shinier and glossier now, and cleaner. Of course, it's not perfect. It's missing pieces. It's still got scratches. The stickers could be replaced, or at least some of them. And it would appear the previous owner, or perhaps their pet, tried to eat this Megazord. <laughs> <laughs> on one or two occasions, but it still looks so much better, especially if this is something you intend to display. Somebody had commented on the previous video they got a good deal on a Daijujin, but it was missing some parts. So that kind of inspired this video for people looking for new things, parts to things, who may have something that's just dirty but could be cleaned up. So stay tuned for the full video and I'll go over some things. So this will be another installment of eBaying with Bruno. Direct links are in the video description right below the video. All right, it's shopping time. All right, here's a Daijujin that's listed as junk for a hundred bucks, free shipping. I think that seems reasonable. Like it looks like it's in good shape and it's something that you could further clean up and enhance and make look really nice again. It is missing things though. The usual suspects. Mastodon is missing his tusks. Triceratops missing his horns. The back cannons are missing. Pterodactyl is missing entirely. No Megazord sword. T-Rex is missing the tip of his tail. Mastodon's at least got his head. That's something. And if you happen to have any American parts or can find them, they are compatible with Japan. Same mold. It'll probably be easier to find American parts than Japanese to make it complete. Once again, free shipping. This seller has 100% positive feedback, which is also something to look for. This Megazord isn't perfect, but somebody might have a use for it. Oh, would you look at this. Mia said no. I I'm very jealous of whoever grabs it. And Mia said especially no, because she knows I'll, I'll put the stickers on. <laughs> it's funny, I'm the Power Ranger fan, but Mia won't let me do it. it it's too new, she won't let me open it and, and put the stickers on. Oh, look at it, look at this. Look at it, oh, oh, I want... Oh, <laughs> if something like this has remained sealed for this long, is it not okay to open it? I, I would totally do it. Mia says no. What about you guys? Oh, the box does have a small tear. Top rated seller, $15 shipping to the US. Oh, I know this seller. I got my Gingaman horses and some other good things from them. Okay, yeah, they're good. The next Daijujin is a little more complete. Mastodon has his tusks. 
Pterodactyl is present. T-Rex has the tail tip. Overall, this looks like it's in pretty good condition. It doesn't look like anyone tried to eat it. Still missing pieces though. Triceratops is missing his horns. Back cannons are missing. That is not the correct sword, even though he's able to hold it. It looks like some of the gray plastic may have yellowed a little bit. I appreciate that this seller took individual Zord photos in addition to the Megasword. Uh, looks like the tail tip is broken, but I guess it'll stay on anyway. 100% positive feedback. You can make an offer or buy it now. Shipping is $40. All right, here are the individual boxes again, but this does form the Megazord. You've got all three boxes. These boxes are not in the best shape, but keep in mind, this is 31 years old. In this photo, the T-Rex looks really good to me. The Chrome Sword has some wear on the top though. Maybe on the bottom too. All right, the T-Rex looks good though. Very clean, stickers look like they're in good shape, mostly, right? This set looks like everything's here. Pterodactyl, the gray looks like maybe it's yellowed a little bit. Maybe the stickers aren't perfect on Mastodon. They got this sticker backwards. I actually once fixed one of these with a hairdryer. I was able to remove the sticker and put it back on and it's fine now. Once again, it looks like Triceratops is missing his horns. It looks like everything else is here though. Used, free shipping, 100% positive feedback. Buy it now, seller also accepts offers. Here's another listing, same thing. I, I wish these photos were a little bigger. As far as I can tell, everything is here except for one of the Triceratops horns. I wish this seller had either taken much better photos or had added a written description at least saying what's missing or what's not in good condition. Buy it now, almost 99% positive feedback. Free shipping, buyer pays return shipping for returns. Returns are accepted. Here's a great looking Ultra Zord set. Look at that. That's a great looking King Brachion. Looks like bright white plastic. Wow, that, that's beautiful. Man, poor Triceratops is still missing his horns. If you were someone who was buying this to display out of the box as the Ultra Zord, all the pieces are here for that. There are missing pieces though, but they don't really matter for the Ultra Zord. Going by the photo, I don't see the back cannons. I don't see the crotch plate for the Dragon Zord. If you wanted to make Dragon Zord's weapon with the tail and the chest piece on the standy thing, it looks like those parts are missing to, to make the staff. Poor Mastodon is missing his head, and I don't see the sword for the Megazord. Titanus is also supposed to come with these two little things that plug into Triceratops and Sabertooth Tiger, so when Titanus is moving, he can drag the tank mode, the Megazord in tank mode, but it uh, doesn't look like those are included. T-Rex and Dragonzord have their tail tips, though, that's something, and the gold chain is present for Titanus, or King Brachion in this case. Overall, this looks like it's in great condition, and there are sellers asking more just for Daijujin than this entire set combined, so... Maybe a really good deal, even with the missing pieces. Personally, I don't see a set like this pop up too often. Oh, it's the seller again. Okay, so free shipping, they accept returns, you pay return shipping. Close to 100% positive feedback. Really good looking King Brachion. Now maybe the seller just doesn't know how to transform this properly, but I would be interested to see the bottom of Dragonzord's feet to make sure the stickers are okay. I notice you don't see the bottom of Dragonzord's feet in any of these pictures, so maybe you'd want to contact the seller and request some Dragonzord feet pictures. <laughs> All right, here we have another Daijujin, 1100 or best offer, free shipping. Oh, is this new? Oh, wow, look at this one. Oh, wow. Oh, is that a nice condition? Oh, 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 oh wow. Oh, that, that, that belongs in a museum. Oh, wow. Oh, that, that, that's art. Oh, I, I'll be right back. I'm going to go play the lottery. I'm a little confused as to how Mastodon has his ear stickers when they're on the sticker sheet, but okay. Man, is, is that beautiful? All right, so it's used condition, but untouched, never used. That works. That's really something. Free shipping, 100% positive feedback. Gonna go play the lottery now. Wish me luck. Here I go. All right, next we have this big set, Megazord and Dragonzord. Looks like Dragonzord is all here, right? Maybe he's missing some finger stickers. Looks pretty good, though. Megazord looks like he's all here. Right? I see the cannons. Mastodon's got his head, trunk, tusks. There's the sword. Sword looks good. Sabretooth Tiger's got his teeth. Triceratops got his horns. Looks like everything's there. T-Rex has his tail tip. Dragonzord's got his tail tip. Oh, the seller actually did write a description confirming that Dragonzord's electronics do work, but batteries are not included. 100% positive feedback. Buy it now or make the seller an offer. And just for fun, check out what someone is asking for the big vinyl Megazord figure for anyone who thought it was expensive before. Man, that's crazy. Here is a Dragonzord crotch plate. Thankfully, I do read these descriptions and I see that this is actually not an original item. It's a reproduction thing, I guess. I mean, it looks legit, but that's something to know. Maybe it's perfectly good. Megazord back cannons, these are original. 
I was gonna try to link to Triceratops horns from Starlight. I'm not seeing them. They do have some Megazord things, though. I was gonna say, here's an original sword, but I guess this one is also a reproduction. If it really looks this good, that's a good sword. They totally fooled me for a sec. No refunds, so ask the seller questions before you buy if you have any. Here's an original tail cannon piece for the Triceratops. And then here's a pair of pterodactyl wings. Again, it'll fit the US or Japanese version, same molds. And there's also BD-15 if you want to replace your stickers. You can get a full Megazord set. You can also buy the sets individually if you're just doing one or two Zords. Ooh, Chrome coming soon. eBay is usually my go-to place if I need an older thing that's no longer in production. But another great place to try are conventions. There are lots of toy conventions all over the country, and then even Power Ranger specific events. Power Morphicon is a toy overload, new and used stuff. I've bought all sorts of good things from both Power Morphicon and Robo Toy Fest, back when we lived in California. And I didn't realize until looking at this footage right now, we predicted once and always. <laughs> Let's rock it! That was Ranger Stop in Florida. They also had a lot of good toys there, both used and new. That's pretty cool. Do I remember battle damage chargers? Obviously, I knew at one point I'm holding it right here. I, I totally don't remember this, though. Do I have that? <laughs> now I have to go look. I kind of want that. Ranger Station is coming up in July. That's here in Pennsylvania, in Oaks, Pennsylvania. I'll also have info for that in the video description for anyone who's in the area. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Personally, I find it kind of fun and satisfying to take a toy that's kind of older and a little beat up and restore it and make it look nice again. And if this were your Megazord, you could keep going with it. You could replace the stickers, you could find the replacement parts. A little more advice, though. People often tell me they got a good deal on something, it was just missing X, Y, and Z pieces, and they plan to collect them later. Definitely try to be aware of what those things might cost. Sometimes that is totally doable, and other times it might be difficult. Like, let's say you see a Mighty Morphin Megazord for 200, and you're like, forget that, that's too much. I can buy this one for 50, and then I'll just get the missing pieces. Well, those missing pieces might add up to $376. <laughs> Plus the $50 you spent on the original thing. That number is an average of what I've seen the individual pieces go for. Assuming you need every single one of them and plan to replace the stickers. You know, it can get expensive. But sometimes people get lucky, keep checking eBay, conventions, there are Facebook groups that buy, sell, and trade Power Ranger toys. Sometimes people get lucky at the Goodwill and antique stores and flea markets and places like that. In 2019, Mia actually surprised me with the Dragon Caesar from CS Toys. Sometimes they get some good old stuff. I was like so confused and surprised because I had seen it on CS Toys and, and I really wanted it. I was drooling over it, but... You know, I, I shouldn't have been buying that, and I, I didn't, and then I, I was like, no, I'm, I'm gonna get it. And then I went back, and it was sold out. And the buyer was Mia. <laughs> Which I found out later, obviously. What a good Mia. All right, I'm gonna end here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Direct links are in the video description right below the video. The previous video was like this one, but I did Bokanger. So if you're interested in Overdrive slash Bokanger, previous video has links to those things and a display update. We've got more good stuff coming. Thank you guys for watching. Good night.